Oh, well done. Thank you very much for coming down. It's pleasure to fantastic. see you both. Really we're, we were just talking about the situation in Gaza, believe it or not. Uh, it might be a surprise to you, uh, given that no one's talking about it right now. But, uh, Paul, just give me your reaction while you're here. English sarcasm. Um, extraordinary day. I think, goodness, the weather's amazing as well. Uh, the turnout is phenomenal. I'm really hoping it will be the biggest demonstration we've ever seen in London. It's a hate march, though, is it? Uh, it, it's a, a march of compassion, of concern. It's a march for the rights of people who have been bombed, for the lives of babies. I mean, and every every possible positive reason to do it, every one is tick, 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 tick. So the Home Secretary should resign. She's an extremist for calling this hate. She should go. She's the danger to the public, not peaceful demonstrators here today. Absolutely. And uh, I think this is going to be one of the biggest marches that we've seen so far. That's what they're anticipating. What do you make of the uh, the, the other sites? There's a, a group of other extremists who have come down to London uh, and they claim that they're protecting uh, British iconic uh, symbols like the cenotaph from uh, these protesters as if they pose some kind of threat. What's your response to the people out here today like Tommy Robinson who say that they have to confront these uh, people behind me here today? Well, it's all fake news, isn't it? Um, the, the, the cenotaph and the other memorials are under zero threat. We're not interested in that. We're interested in protesting uh, about the genocide against the, the Gazans. So this is all fake news. It's a lie. Uh, Tommy Robinson, as we know, I, I, I'd say this is very, very sad. He's known to be a paid Zionist spokesman. He's very closely allied uh, with Zionists. So he's a, an agent of a foreign power. He's not representing British interests. He's representing uh, a certain uh, entity in the Middle East, that interest. So nothing to do with Britain. I'm not even sure why he lives in this country. If he's paid by them, why isn't he going to live in that country and leave us in peace? Yes, yeah, a very good point. And finally, uh, being a, a Brit yourself, uh, you know very well Remembrance Day, the Red Poppy, and what that means to a lot of British people. Now, a lot of people are saying now that you know it's inappropriate to be supporting Palestine on this weekend. We should have cancelled it. It should be banned even if we're not going to cancel it. Could you just respond to that and tell people who may not understand why the Palestine cause is important as well about why it is appropriate to march on this day? Of course, the reality is this is the perfect day to have this demonstration. Remembrance uh, today, we're obviously remembering uh, the, the people who have fallen and tomorrow. This is the day when we remember people who are now who are dying uh, uh, unjustly in a war. So in fact, this is the perfect and just reason to have this on this occasion. The timing isn't bad timing, it's perfect timing. Uh, and we just need to look at the facts that this is to remember those who've died in war. People are dying in war now, innocent victims. So on the contrary, this is the right and proper time to have this demonstration. Absolutely. Paul, you've been a very good sport jumping Not in the last minute. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I'll just end it up and uh, we'll join you on the march.